Hello, this is QJ Martin here with Curated Awesome, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a fig pin power base. Now, there are many different ways that you can display your fig pins. Of course, you can leave them in the collector case with the plastic, with the name and number on it, which is how I like to have my fig pins displayed. I am currently attaching them to my wall using command strips, but I would also put them on shelves just like this. You could also take the plastic off and just use the case itself. But the power base is a more minimalistic approach, and I'm going to be showing you how to use these and how to put your fig pin in this base so that you can display them in a way that looks pretty cool. Now, if you want these power bases, all you have to do is go to the FigPin website, figpin.com, go to shop, and then go to cases and accessories. Now, there's several different things a collector could want from here. Uh, for one thing, there's the power bases. They come in a pack of four for $10. And also you have the kickstand backers, which are what hold the pin onto the base. And you can get five of them for $5. And the other essential part to this display is having the action post. And you can get the large action posts or the short action posts, 10 for $10. Now the short action posts are going to be for pins like these, where you can see they're much smaller than your normal posts. The large action posts come with most fig pins and you can see the difference there if you put them side by side. Now the good thing about these power bases is that everything you need to use them comes with the pin itself. So let's go ahead and open this pin up. Now once you have it like this you just take the backing off Put the pin and the kickstand to the side. And this right here is the action post. Now this post, when you order a fig pin, is held in with a sort of uh, kind of sticky substance like a glue. But you're meant to be able to take this post out. So all you have to do is kind of pull on it. And honestly, I've only done this a couple times. But you have to pull on it. To the point where it feels like it's going to break, but just be careful with it. If you don't want to do this with your pins themselves, then of course you can order the action posts from the website. So once you have that unattached, you can take this um, glue off. And there we have what is called the action post. Now it will go back into the stand, no problem. You just put it in place and click it, and then pull it out, and it's a lot easier second time. Now with the action post, the kickstand backer, and the pin, you can use these power bases. Now again, they come in a set of four, and they have the fig pin logo on them and on the back collect awesome i'm not sure what this is right here if anyone knows what that is for leave a comment below letting me know and i will appreciate that so all you have to do is just take one of these power bases and it's pretty self-explanatory this just goes in there and it's actually even easier to uh, get it into the base itself than it is the actual case for the pin. Put the pin in. Put the backing on. And that is how you use a power base. Now of course these are meant to uh, go like on your shelves or your display cases or something. And they're meant to be the way that you can display them if you don't want all of the packaging and all of the backing and the art card and all of that. You can just have that pin sitting by itself. And it looks pretty awesome. 
Now if you want to put it all back in place, you just take it apart, pull this out, and it's even easier to pull out of this than it is the uh, pin case itself. Now when you put it back, make sure that the fig pin logo is not facing you because the fig pin logo goes in the back. Click it in place. And then you can just put the pin all back together like normal. So there you have it, a fig pin power base. They come in a pack of four from figpin.com for $10 and they're all around pretty cool so i definitely recommend if you're not the type that likes to display your pins in the box uh getting some of these and having a look checking them out see what you think of them thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you would like to support this channel you can go to patreon.com slash curated awesome and from there, you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month. Now, when you support this channel on Patreon, you're automatically entered into our monthly fig pin giveaways. And so every month, you'll have the chance to win whatever pin that we're giving away for that month. And the cool thing is that you can just set it and forget it. You don't have to worry about going back and checking each month to enter the giveaway. You're automatically entered and your name will automatically be in the drawing for that pin. Every month on the first, the winner will be selected and then I will message them for their contact info so I can send them their fig pin. If you'd like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and as always, have an awesome day.